So guys, I am back with yet another first descendant video and in this video guys I'm going to showcase to you a brand new incredible farm which will earn you up towards 400,000 Kuipers per hour but also at the same time for a limited time you'll get tons of those ultimate sensors. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Now before we go any further, credit given where credit is due, a video was sent to me on my Discord, it belonged to a dude called Dennis, a fellow content creator, post some amazing First Descendant videos, he is the originator I believe of this farm, uh, it's the first place I saw the farm, so I'm going to give him credit, if you want to check him out and show him some love, I'll link his channel down below. But yes guys, this is basically a farm which allows you to get unlimited sensors, kuipers, modules or even more kuipers when you dismantle your duplicates, weapons, materials, sort of dismantling them, absolutely everything guys. And I believe right now it could be the best in the game. So it takes place within the White Knight Gulch region and you want to come down to the Moongrave Basin. Now if you guys have unlocked the hard mode difficulty, you will know that you have this difficulty level rewards menu. Now if we come down to White Knight Gulch here, we can see that Moongrave Basin where this actual farm takes place, they are dropping those sensors. Now you have six days left before this rotates and they drop something else. But if you're in need of those sensors people, you get a ton of them from here. So the mission guys is this one right here called the water cooling recording device. So we're just going to tag that and we're going to run around. Now what I will say is, don't worry about the mission rewards for completing it because we're not actually going to complete it. We're going to trigger it and we're just going to take advantage of the enemies that spawn in and we get about four minutes of doing this. They drop tons of, like I said, materials, tons of those Kuiper Shards, gold, absolutely everything as well as those sensors, those ultimate sensors. Now this can be done on normal mode, don't get it twisted, but you won't earn as much obviously in regards to materials, but it still can be done on normal mode. So guys, what we do is we start the mission and we run this way. Now this is one of those missions where obviously, well not obviously, but it will be obvious. You capture the points, you then blow up, well destroy the points, you pick up the thing and you bring it to this little mouthy robot here. There are two points, A and B. Forget B, leave that out of it. We're going to initiate A, just like so. And then guys, you'll see that we get the progress bar at the top. We're going to ignore that and we're going to let enemies capture it back when that happens guys we get like four minutes well we get like three and a half minutes of us being able to do and take out unlimited spawning enemies that drop all these materials that we want and basically that's the farm we run backwards as well now i'm just going to wait you can see that at the top of the screen uh seizure aborted that's what we want now what i will say is as well guys once we take these enemies out we want to leave the guys on the point you don't want to go near the point because if you kill the enemies on the point it starts to progress by up again and we don't want that so from here guys you just want to run this way take out all these ads here just like so i mean it's going to be much much quicker on bonnie but if you're doing this in a team it's going to be unbelievable too you got enemy spawn here too enemy spawn right here right by this little container take them out run backwards on yourself and run back up here guys take these guys out again it's just basically a cycle of doing this until the time limit goes down and again you get an absolute ton of these sensors you get tons of everything it is one incredible farm and again credit to dennis for this one without him we would not have known about this oh shield man you think you're bad in your shield i hate them things you know i absolutely hate those shields you see more and more of them on that hard mode it's just a pain in the ass but hey and again do what you gotta do do what you gotta do people take all these enemies out again don't go near a don't capture the point on a we want to leave that there I'm going to leave them there and just simply just run back and forth just as I'm doing. It really is this simple. Now my this is a standard bunny build. I mean I've not long hit hard mode. Uh, so yeah I'm working on it now. If you're hard mode, if you've been on hard mode for a while, rocking other things is going to be much much easier for you. And you'll earn, it'll be way more efficient for you in regards to taking out these enemies at a quicker rate right than I can. Uh, and that's a good thing because obviously you'll earn more materials in doing that. But again, it's just it's just madness. It's just the best farm I think I've actually used. But it's so easy to do as well. Like I said, you can do this on normal mode as well. 
So yeah, keep that in mind. And then guys, again, we have one minute, 45 seconds left to do this. So, yeah, take all these guys out. I'm going back. You're just running backwards and forth. Leaving the guys at that point alone. Just not messing with them. And it's, it's, it's just as simple as this. Using my Tamer, which is just my favourite weapon in the game. It's probably yours too. I mean, a weapon. Everyone knows about this weapon. It's utterly unbelievable. Get out of it. What are you trying there, hey? Eh, what are you trying? More senses, people. What we like to see. What we like to see. Come on. Drop that. Drop that loot. Drop that loot. Drop that loot. Them containers, though. Keep respawning. Bit of a pain in the ass, aren't they? Bit of a pain in the ass, people. But, yep, this is it. I mean, we've got a minute left now to do this. Um, and you'll see the... The results I get is utterly crazy, guys. Like I said, definitely. I mean, I mean, we got the other one on White Knight Gorge. I think Moxie posted it first, which is don't get it twisted. It's a great farm, but it's way, way hard to do in solo. This can be done solo so easy. So yeah, keep that in mind too. I think he's he claimed in regards to everything you will earn. Like, and in regards to dismantling your duplicate uh, modules as well, and the kypers you'll get for that. I think he claimed like 300,000 per hour. I think this one is up to 400,000 per hour, but obviously, you want to be rocking this, the right and the um, what they're called, the right like loadout in regards to increasing your drop rates of kypers and whatever you want, gold, whatever. So, yeah, keep that in mind. So, we have mission failed. You'll see now. Now, uh, mission results. I oh, don't hit me. I want to check out my mission results, man. Pain in the asses. Get out of here. Did you not die from that? You absolute beast. But now you're dying. Okay, so. We got from that. In 4 minutes 29 seconds, 6,840 uh, Kuiper Shards. Now, keep in mind, we also got a ton of these modules. And... Like I said, I have no uh, buffs to my drop rates in regards to my Kuiper Shards. These can all be added onto your loadout if you have that. I mean, a lot of people keep them safe now. I'm in the process of doing that myself. But yes, like I said, and there's more Shards here for me to pick up. It's absolute madness, guys. It's a great, great, great farm. Uh, and I do recommend you taking advantage of it, can, especially if you do want those uh, sensors too. So yeah. Use this and abuse this while you can, guys. It is a great, great farm. And again, guys, if you didn't know about this, you can go to the previous results menu and simply restart it from here and do what you got to do. Remember, um, it isn't all about the Kuiper Shard drops in the mission you're running on farming. Don't forget the duplicate modules, the weapons you'll get dropped that can dismantle as well, more materials, all sorts. How many of them do they even get then? I mean, look, I got a load. <laughs> I got a load that time, people. So yeah, do what you gotta do. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Oh, give it a like what you see and wanna see more of the first descendant. Be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.